3rd, 2022, um, when I arrived in, um, let's put it this way, when I was in Bayside Station, in, when I first arrived and went to school, um, there were no flags. Just like Nucci has no flags now, there was no flags in the Bayside, um, New York City system. When I was moved to Long Island, um, first whatever of school, Mark King was there, Chris Carlson, Bradley Ray, myself, Chelius, Geronimo Chelius wasn't there yet. He didn't join us till later, after Mark left. Then Geronimo Chelius joined us. I think Samantha Tewksbury was there, Sam Kipling, Sarah Vermillion. Those were my first friends. This was the flag that they told us. I didn't know what it was, but it hung in the, um, and we saluted it every morning in our small schoolhouse, um, which was Lloyd Harbor Elementary School. Um, it flies, or it flew outside the school as well. Um, we had to say a Pledge of Allegiance. Um, we saluted it with our hand over our heart. Um, and that's how we spent our days. That's where whatever Ronald Reagan's fitness examiners, when they came to test our physical fitness, um, I don't remember what year that was, and they did the obstacle course, and they had the, um, the rope with the knots, and they had to teach us how to, um, go up, and then we had field day. There was something that the school did with balloons. You bought a bunch of balloons and then we put our names on a card or whatever and we sent them up and no idea what it meant. There was no explanation of what the symbolism meant to any of these things. But we did participate together um, back then in 1980s. We, we were children. We were told to do something. We did something. And then there was field day where we had a run and we would get ribbons. There was a red team, a blue team, whatever. Um, that is the extent of human interaction. Back then, it was nice at first. Um, and then it just cut off. Like, everybody took their places somewhere, and I got coasted by the entire whatever we were, by the entire community. Um, no idea where they went, what they did. Again, like, we didn't use telephones. I mean, like, we, I had a telephone. But really, it was very rare. We didn't really... Nobody called from school. We didn't talk on telephones. It was the 80s. It was whatever. Um, now, today... Uh, well, in now I'm in year 2022. Um, my life has gone horrifically off rails. Um, sun's too high. There's no moon at night. T tonight... I'll check again, but tonight makes seven, but so far I've confirmed six. Um, the house today is vibrating or low sound frequency shaking the house. No idea what that symbolism means in the great wide world of things. Um, but on the television, now I'm in North America. That's where I went to public education school. Um, and I haven't been able to get far because it's a world of I have no idea how it works, but apparently somebody was prepared to make sure I never found out. 
That's what it feels like. Um, so now I'm watching. We got out of February, which apparently the humans turned into some telecommunications project of Black History Month, where it focuses only on Hispanic and African people that are now living in North America. And now we've switched the calendar to March, and now it's Women's History Month. We're in day three of that. I wasn't on my calendar, but here we are. And I'm watching GMA3 on Channel 7, which is ABC Company. And um, on comes something about Philadelphia Club or something along those lines. I'm like, never heard of them. So I'm watching and I'm like, it is strictly like Hispanic and African women that have like some socialite club. I'm like, where is the, that, where is, like, that's great for them. Yay, kind of sort of in a not really way. Where is that version for me? What do they call it? Because I never even heard of Philadelphia Club until they brought it up on TV. Now, I mean, I just arrived through my mother, like everyone else, into a hospital in New York. I go to public school. Public school ends. And all the white people, like, just disappear. How am I supposed to make it in the world? I'm just curious. By the way, I have a painting... Uh, that looks a lot like me, and I was told that he owns the painting, and I'm his girl with the pearl earring. So now I'm just curious, knowing that that exists also at the exact same time. Uh, moon went missing, my house is shaking, I've been biologically terrorized for going on... 30-something years? I mean, I'm 43. But when I noticed it starting to, like, be really bad, we'll go with maybe about 40 years ago. Um, and so now I turn on the television in the year 2022, and this is what the highlight is. What I don't understand is where are the women's group or club, if such a thing is necessary, for my heritage in North America because North America seems to have put together with the UK's help it's US UK and ba and I think they said the Bahamas they put together this Philadelphia club all I see is growing really strong potential domestic terrorists for North America so I don't know who's funding it I don't know who gets behind it but it's the women's version of where did my people go? Where is my version of whatever you've grown so strong that you're so proud of? I'm just curious. Because right now there's a war being fought in Ukraine. Civilian and military targets are being hit. I've been abused in North America the entire time I've been here. And I'm just wondering in like the big holocaust of things and halo cost of things if management is aware of just how much suffrage is going on since the communication has been so bad and I don't know if the conjecture is getting the appropriate message. So here we are. So this is what they have, this is what they put on the television. 16,000 members strong. The links incorporated women connecting with each other and... Now remember, Black History Month ended. This is now, they're saying, Women's History Month. I didn't ask for this. This is just what the state and some other organization is providing. While my house is shaking, the moon went missing, I've been biologically attacked several times by several different scary methods, and I'm all alone and their communities in a powerful way. Take a look. During the Great Migration, right at the end of World War II, that's when the Lynx was founded. 
and people were migrating to Philadelphia the and other northern cities because they wanted to escape the racism and the lynchings of the South. Our co-founders, Margaret Rosa Hawkins and Sarah Strickland Scott, they saw a need to support educational opportunities and cultural opportunities. And so what they did is they called these friends of theirs together. Okay, so they were trying to escape the South, so they say. So they just made it into the North because my grandmother raised 10 children on welfare and didn't have, like, her foot in some society to keep her fed and her children fed and educated and whatnot, while this crept into the North and was only educating and feeding itself with I don't know what money or what system. My grandmother didn't know. My mother sure doesn't know. I still have no idea. But it's still growing strong in the same time frame in North America. Is is there, did I lose all? I mean, like, I know there's a senator in South Dakota. There's one. I've seen him. I've seen a couple on some of the Washington mentions every now and again. This morning, there was a Senator Lindsey Graham that was on a different show. I know he exists, or at least on TV he does. Um, but what I don't understand is why these groups are growing stronger and more educated and more powerful and I can't even seem to get myself into, it's like there's nothing like this that exists for me to join. Where is my societal in my entire life? Where did all of the people go? I have a painting that hangs in the frick. I'm not just a nobody. There's an important reason why there's a painting when it's reincarnated and it comes back and it looks exactly the same. It's usually in the holy books and the book of the dead, an indication of something. And so I don't know why everybody's been so lackadaisical and completely like locking me away without giving me any advice or any like opportunity to join where I need to go to be safe from humans. And on their kitchen table, they formed the Philadelphia Club. And that was our very first club in this organization. We wanted to thank the Philadelphia chapter of the Lynx for presenting this donation to us. Which... So now here's the donation, 13300 those are numbers that look like they are very holy numbers. What I don't understand is why I'm in such poor condition and they're just handing money out to random strangers. We greatly, greatly appreciate. 75 years later, the members commit to at least a... 75 years later. Oh, that's an interesting number. Minimum of 48 hours of public service. It's the largest professional club organization in the United States, the UK, and the Bahamas. That sounds like they're really powerful. Someone helped them grow extremely powerful in the same time frame that they totally forgot I existed. They forgot my mother existed. They forgot my grandmother's existed. They forgot my children existed. Service is hard work. Uh, we have a legacy. Philadelphia chapter is our legacy. And we build a... When they say those words, even though they sound like English, and even though I have some idea, druidic, I can understand what they are, because that's constructed to my own persona. But... But interactive language with whatever they're talking about? I have no idea. I don't have an interaction with them. They've never built a construct of what those words actually mean. And between my interactive with, let's just say, a sports theme night before I got nailed with a needle that I didn't see coming, 
construct and interactive would have been really simple. Here they're explaining their whatever, but it's not an interactive conversation. Build upon the legacy of founders and the charter members of the Philadelphia chapter, which... These are big key up words. Charters, founders, like big, powerful words. I'm still in this really bad position. I don't have powerful words to use like that because I don't have an organization that was built or designed. Meanwhile, they're growing more powerful in a North American area that has specific rock wall for national security with some money that it needs to keep the family safe. And I'm a little confused why this is growing stronger. That is a big signal to elsewhere. Also on the calendar, they have a really big signal that went on somewhere between Linda's birth and my birth, which is really frightening as well. Who are they signaling to? That they're in North America? I mean, it's, it's growing, it's growing, it's known about, it's growing. When does somebody intervene to tell philanthropy? You need to put the brakes on growing more powerful because it's already crushing and occluding and aiding the wrong situation. Was the Philadelphia Club. And from that... And where's the law enforcement agency that's built that I can go to to have these one-on-one -on -one private conversations with? Why do I have to go onto social media on my own document for what I'm feeling because the house is shaking and the moon is not showing up at night. The constellations disappeared for a while. Now I have one constellation back. The sunlight is too high. My, I've, I've almost doubled in girth and size and density. I don't know how. And now it's hard to walk in skeletal bone, like... um osteo and in myo for muscle and the combination on the endo with an epidermal layer on the outside in figurative and in action figure it's difficult to move which also goes into the power and the success and all the different career fields and all the laboratories that were opened up all the research that was done this is really frightening in large numbers especially when my health is affected at such a intimate level and I have no appropriate field coordinator or field anything to speak to. The groundwork was laid for us to be where we are today. For me, being a link, I never realized how much it was a big part of who I am. I don't know of many organizations where you have professional women who are focused on not just serving their community, but also uplifting each other. Now, I never even heard of a link. What I have is I have something called Exit Links Realty that I worked for for a while, which was in Rockville Center, which was one white guy, really white Irish guy, white wife, White husband, white children, white house, in a really white, nice neighborhood that I trusted to park my license to do work where I wasn't going to be thrown into a vehicle, I wasn't going to be drugged, I wasn't going to disappear, and I could just do nice, average, non-like, offensive work but still be safe in this growing concern in New York State. And that's what I did. What I don't understand is why Lynx is now being shown as associated with this problem. And then the other day they showed something with an exit system, which is a run on the company, which also presented itself like the Rockville Center organization, not like what they're showing on TV today.
but these articulations and overlaps, it is like being hunted by animals and having them copycat where you're going to land at some point to almost assume that identity. So when you get there, it looks unassuming. It's a real problem. And I'm seeing the pattern really effing clear along with all of the physical abuse that I've sustained. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kateruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. And it's March 3rd, 2022.